This is the Vance Show. We finally found someone who has had a worse month than Mark Robinson has. Roll the tape. We're going to beat these people. <laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic here, but it's been a hard fight. <laughs> these people hate our children. <laughs> I love this right here. We're going to beat these people. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, he did one of these. He did one of these. <laughs> you guys are oh, awful. Crap. Oh, crap. Infowars. <laughs> <laughs> The media platform owned by conspiracy theorist Alex Jones and brother of Nate Miller. That's right. And its assets will be sold off this fall to help pay the more than $1 billion he owes to the families of the victims of the Sandy Hook elementary shooting. U.S. bankruptcy judge Christopher Lopez said in a Tuesday court hearing he would approve the order, which will force Jones to sell off the assets in auctions in November, court records say. Free Speech Systems, which is InfoWars' parent company, and owned in totality by Jones, will have its ownership transferred to the trustee overseeing Jones' personal bankruptcy case before being sold off. Jones has vowed to his supporters that he will continue to produce content even after losing control of his company and has said the assets to InfoWars could be bought by his supporters. So, Matt, what are you buying? I would love to buy the InfoWars.com domain and just direct it to the show. <laughs> yes. And then a bunch of MAGA incels are going to just be so disappointed and think that Alex Jones sold out. Um, I like how he's going to keep, he's going to sell everything and keep recording content. Dude, after they're done taking everything from him, he's going to be on a Nokia 6 phone. Okay. <laughs> like he's going to be like flip phone action. Um, I'm recording know. from Joe like, Rogan's basement right now. You know, I bet he. Um, uh, what? Yes, Maga Miller. Maybe. Hey, Trump's got billions. I hope Trump uh, bails him out. You know, Trump ain't got no legal fees or anything to worry One about. One person who has already hinted about it is Elon. Well, here, here's what I would love to do. I would love to buy everything, rename the site, and burn it, rename the site misinfo wars so misinformation wars and then hire alex jones to run the thing and force him to go on every single day on misinfowars.com and just do what he does right now the only difference is is <laughs> <laughs> he's labeling it as <laughs> it so okay, bad. Do you, hey do you believe that alex jones believes half the crap he says Absolutely. No. No. There's no, no way. Oh, yeah. No. There's if he if he was this afraid of the government, he's not going to be talking about it every single day. Everybody please go buy my wanna, supplement. Wouldn't everybody just shut him down? Like wouldn't he be afraid of the government shutting him down? I mean, you know, uh, they did it to Eric Adams. They did it to Trump. Apparently, Alex Jones got a pretty big platform. Why wouldn't they take him down as well? Huh? Maybe he's got. Well, he maybe he used to have decent lawyers to help him with the First Amendment and stuff like that. But I, I do believe that he, he he believes what he is saying. You think he? You think he believes in lizard people? I, lizard people. I think he believes in that. I don't believe in that. That's one thing that my, my that, okay. that's where you draw that, the line. That's where I draw the line. Is it lizard people? <laughs> yeah, it's calling, it's calling on the, the, the eyes. Joe Biden. Joe Biden's a robot. Joe, that mm, the, I, yeah. It's Chinese secret police in Minnesota, led by Tim Waltz. Yep. I draw the line at lizard people. Lizard there people. are no no such thing. That's right. right. Yeah. No, um, th well, there. You know. I have not listened or watched to his his show in quite some time, uh, but there was a time I don't know maybe almost a decade ago that I listened to it frequently, and always back then it's like a lot. You made sense. A lot of it was really far fetched, and pizza cake. Um, there were there were, but I always tried to like 
put in the put in my mind's thought like even if ten percent of this is is true, it's still scary enough. Okay. Hey, Jones and his company both filed for bankruptcy protection in 2022, the same year the Sandy Hook families won nearly a $1.5 billion uh, defamation and emotional distress lawsuit against Jones for his repeatedly calling the 2012 school shooting a hoax staged by crisis actors to get gun more gun control legislation passed. Okay, can I can I say something here? Yeah. So he says on the air in 2012, this was a hoax. It takes our court system 10 years to get this family some some justice for what this idiot said. Well, so they didn't file the lawsuit until much later. Okay. Um, so it wasn't necessarily that it took 10 years to go through the court system. It just took them a long time to file. And um, I'd imagine they were probably just waiting for him to keep talking. Um, because I think initially my understanding is, is they asked him to stop several times first, and then they went legal, the legal route after he wouldn't stop. But you guys might actually be surprised at my stance on this here because so originally the judge awarded the families like $2.75 trillion total. So yeah, that, was, like, that was a stupid, the whole, the whole GP, the whole GDP of the United States, basically. <laughs> Um, was going to have to go to paying these families off. And make no mistake about it, Sandy Hook was a tragedy. Families that had to go through what they went through, just absolutely terrible. However, um, I do think this is an interesting case. And the reason why is because you're opening a door here where now you've set a precedent and there's going to have to be consistency in the way that precedent is applied across the board. So, for example, Matt Ricks, you believe that Trump might not have been shot and that maybe he, you know, was just faking it to try to drum up support. Right. He cut himself with a razor blade when he hit the ground. Yes. Right. So now if you're using the same logic from the Sandy Hook case that Jones. The shooter could sue me? No. Jones. No, Trump could. Yeah. No, Trump could. No, because the shooter could be like, no, I shot him. (laughs) I. I. That's where I feel like the gray area comes in in this case, you know, is is like now we've not not that the Sandy Hook families deserve nothing, because I do think that the Alex Jones like he just I don't know why he couldn't just shut up about it. Like it was clear. Because, anyway, because sorry, go ahead. these far right loons can't shut up when they get on their little conspiracy theories because they feel like. You know, a tingle up their spine that somebody's talking about gun control. They can't shut up. They start hyperventilating because they love their guns more than they love yeah. their people. Not true. Well, I mean, it. it's that's the thing is, is you know, I mean, if he just could have kept his mouth shut about he, he didn't even have to talk about the Sandy Hook victims. He could have talked about how he felt like that that situation was being used to drive further gun control. But instead, he kept on saying it was a false flag and it wasn't real and that was causing harassment, you know, for the Sandy Hook family. So anyway, yeah, I don't know. The sell off ordered by the judge intends to approve would put InfoWars intellectual property up for auction on November 13th, a week after the election. You know whose fault that is? Harris. (laughs) Including its trademarks, copyrighted material social media accounts, and websites. Jones' personal social media sites, including his account on the social platform X, which has 2.8 million followers, would not be included. We, Hey, y'all. Hey, we could buy the InfoWars Twitter account. We need. I'm not even kidding. We got we to gotta figure out where this stuff is being auctioned off. We got to figure it out. <laughs> Look, you know, there's some sort of underwear, like some Alex Jones, like ginormous 100%. Batman underwear or something. Yeah. yeah. What? The guy was selling like beanies and sunglasses. I mean, he sold some Dude, oddball stuff, we man. Could get, we could get the intellectual property to like his his version of Ivermectin and then just scam. <laughs> I mean, the MAGA people love being scammed anyways. So we'll just make some money now instead of Trump and the other grifters on the right. Oh man! So, oh man! We're, we're, so, basically, what you're saying is he's a grifter. He's trying to sell what he—he's a grifter. Yeah. So, he, my word! 
okay, you, what it, what essentially is happening is this man's own company, his life's work is being taken away from him just because, yeah, he was stupid and, and, and didn't uh, shut up. Instead, the, the, the company is being forced from him to be sold instead of just saying, okay, you can still do your stuff, but a vast majority of percentage has to be given to the families perpetually. Look, no, listen, because you know what? We need to shut him down. Why? Because he lacks com- he lacks human decency. There are grieving parents who lost their kids in a school shooting. Okay? And this guy goes in there and tries to make it a political thing. That's just not respectable, man. Like, like you know, you want to talk about civility and everything. Like, this is a guy who goes into a movie theater and screams fire. And that's against the law. Okay, you can't do that. And I don't think you should be able to do this when we're, we're when children weren't even buried yet. He's doing it for political gain to pad his pockets on the back of dead children. Yeah, but all news agencies do that. They all make a crisis like this uh, a, 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 a a, a spot of of contention to to draw to dr- drive seen... a, a point from their their political side of yeah. of, of view. Dr- driving a political agenda is different from saying no. Your kid who was killed really wasn't killed. It's just a crisis actor. To that uh, to that point, it's I different. agree. However, it, where does the First Amendment come in? Okay, yeah, you can take a you can't you, yell. You you can yell. You, you can't yell fire. You can't yell fire in a crowded theater. Right. That's been on the books forever. Exactly. You okay. morons weren't worried about that one. When was this taking place? But my, my point you is... You guys the... weren't worried about that one. Because it's a common decency thing. We cannot get on this show, even if I think... Look, if we legally could get on this show and spread wild theories about innocent people who weren't in the public light... We still wouldn't do it because we have decency for these people. He did not. Look, Trump, Laura Loomer, Harris, all that, you're public figures, you sign up for it. Agreed. But parents of children that were dead, us, come after me. Yeah. Come after me, MAGA. (laughs) All right. But parents of dead children, that should be off limits. And he didn't, he didn't care. To have any decency so off with his head <laughs> financially that is yeah financially and off with his businesses you know you know in like two months he's he'll shut down info wars it'll all get auctioned off and then he'll start everything back up and call it like war info or something like that just <laughs> war, reverse war the name it'll be on, yeah it'll yeah. be on x space yep. yeah yeah everything will be run through elon and again, he'll 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 set up shop in Joe Rogan's basement and use his podcast equipment, and that'll be how he lives his life. And and his number one pitch man will be RFK Jr. <laughs> <laughs>